At the end of the 20th century, Sir Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web. It was the greatest communication platform the world had ever seen, and he gave it away for the betterment of the human race. Celebrations ensued. Humans soon started sharing cat pictures and arguing about whether scones should have the jam or cream on first. In the early 2020s, scientists proved that cream first was the optimal configuration, which led to the parliamentary scone laws, although Cornish militants still refused to accept they were wrong. In the first quarter of the 21st century, businesses decided that communication was probably a good thing, and they started selling stuff on the web. They crafted amazing web experiences, and then added pop-ups, pop-unders, notification alerts, cookie warnings, unnecessary images, and videos of the CEO's cat because apparently that was on brand. By 2020, a single web page required two megabytes of network bandwidth, a 20 second mobile download, and the inhabitants of Madagascar to pay 1% of their daily income just to load it. And each view expelled 1.8 grams of CO2. Humans didn't like it, and search engine bots didn't like it. So businesses added more on-page stuff, like advertising and social media widgets, to curtail their falling revenues. A few forward-thinking business leaders were concerned. They tried to sprinkle on performance like it was some sort of magic sauce. But this rarely worked. Fortunately, some developers realised the web was generally awful and wrote performance advice books. These would eventually become Nobel Prize winners and see their authors knighted. These books contained dozens of tips, but they mainly stated the bleeding obvious about not sending so much stuff. 